and you did not get there because of some left-wing agenda? You didn't get here because of some dark money groups? You got here how every black woman in America who's gotten anywhere has done by being <laughs> like Ginger Rogers said, I did everything Fred Astaire did, but backwards in heels. <laughs> and, and so I, I'm just sitting here saying, nobody's stealing my joy. Nobody's going to make me angry, especially not people that are called in a conservative magazine demagogic for what they're bringing up that just doesn't hold water. I'm not going to let my joy be stolen because I know you and I, we appreciate something that we get that a lot of my colleagues don't. I know Tim Scott does. When I first came to this place, I was the fourth black person ever popularly elected to the United States Senate. And I still remember a lot of mixed people, white folks, black folks work here. But at night, when people are in line to come in to clean this place, the, the, the percentage of minorities shift a lot. And so I'm walking here, first week I'm here, and somebody who's been here for decades doing the urgent work of the Senate, but it's the unglamorous work that goes on no matter who's in offices. The guy comes up to me, all he wants to say, I can tell is, I'm so happy you're here, but he comes up and he can't get the words out. And this man, my elder, starts crying. And I, I just hugged him and he just kept telling me, it is so good to see you here. It's so good to see you here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I, I love my brother, Tim Scott. We could write a dissertation on our disagreements. He gave the best speech on race. I wish I could have given a speech, good of a speech but talking to the challenges and indignities that are still faced. And you're here. I was in the White House with my Democratic colleagues, and I'm, again, I'm in my joy. I can't help it. <laughs> and, and, and the president's asking our advice, who should we nominate and whatever. And I look at Kamala, and we have a knowing glance, which we've had for years, when she and I used to sit on this end of this committee at times. And then I try to get out to the president what it means what it means. And I want to tell you, when I look at you, this is why I get emotional. I'm sorry, you're, you're, you're a person that is so much more than your race and gender. You're a Christian, you're a mom, you're, you're, you're an intellect, you love books. But for me, I'm sorry, I, I, it's hard for me not to look at you and not see my mom, not to see my my cousins, one of them who had to come here and sit behind you. She had to be, she had to have your back. I see my ancestors and yours. Nobody's going to steal the joy of that woman in the street or the calls that I'm getting or the texts. Nobody's going to steal that joy. You have earned this spot. You are worthy. You are a great American. 